for joining this call. This is our community meeting for the upcoming intersection improvement projects at the intersections of Brian Irvin and Oakmont and Oakmont Boulevard and Harris Parkway. So just a few um, notes, if you can please mute yourselves just so that we don't get an echo and this meeting will be recorded. So again, this is the community meeting for the intersection improvements at Oakmont Boulevard and Brian Irvin Road and with, at Oakmont Boulevard and Harris Parkway. These are in Council Districts 3 and 6. My name is Fanta Kaba. I am the City of Fort Worth Project Manager and the Project Engineers are with Pacheco Koch Consulting Engineers. Are there any representatives from Council Districts 3 or 6 on the call? Hi, yes, I'm Carmen Ochoa. I'm the constituent services director for council member Williams representing district six. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. Is there anything you would like to say before we get started? Um, not at the moment, but I'm so happy everybody could make it on the call. And we're glad to have you. Thank you. Our agenda for tonight, we're going to go over the project background. We'll give a project update. We'll give an uh, update on the project schedule, and then we will give the project contact information as well. So the objectives of this project include improving efficiency of traffic flow at both intersections during peak hours, reducing delays, and improving overall safety for all users. We're also planning to improve the pedestrian safety at Brian Irvin and Oakmont Boulevard through new directional ramps, striping, and addition of pedestrian refuge islands, and also to improve traffic flow at both intersections through left turn lane additions, signal timing revisions, and modified lane assignments. This project is funded by the 2022 bond. And then further on the background, so Oakmont Boulevard westbound traffic at Brian Irvin Road, that has consistent backup to Harris Parkway during AM and PM peak hours. Oakmont Boulevard westbound traffic trying to enter Harris Hospital via left turn lane consistently has backed up for several hundred feet during AM peak hours. Harris Parkway northbound traffic leaving the Harris Hospital has backups during PM hours. Eastbound traffic on Oakmont Boulevard and Harris Parkway, that occasionally backs up all the way to Brian Irvin Road, which then blocks the turning in through traffic. Currently, as the intersection is timed, Brian Irvin and Harris Parkway, those signals are not coordinated. And then here's the project location. So we are east, we are west of Chisholm Trail Parkway and south of 20. And then on the screen right now, we're showing the preliminary design of the Brian Irvin Road at Oakmont Boulevard intersection. So these are the proposed improvements. And then on the screen now, we're showing the proposed improvements for the Harris Parkway at Oakmont Boulevard. So I know we have a few call-in users. Again, if you don't mind putting your email or reaching out to me by email, that would be great. I will make sure to send this presentation over to you and then we'll send the recording as well so that you can see these exhibits. And I'm also putting my email fan to the help you on in the chat for those who are on and just need if they need to jump off or want the slides. Thank you, Laura. So, in the leading up to this meeting, we did get some feedback and we did make sure to incorporate those into this presentation and just provide updates in those regards. So, the first was in regards to the signal at Brian Irvin and Oakmont. So there is concerns about the eastbound vehicular traffic going across this intersection. And so as part of this project, the 
lanes will the alignment will be updated and as well we will have updated pavement markings so hopefully that will serve as a guide for vehicles traveling and that will reduce the that will provide more guidance as opposed to how the intersection is operating today And then also at Brian Irvin and Oakmont, there is a request for bike lanes along Brian Irvin Road. The scope of this project does not include bike lanes. However, we have submitted, we have let transportation management know that there is a request for bike lanes along Brian Irvin Road. And then further in this presentation, we'll have a slide on how you all can submit service requests, whether for this project or any project or anything you, you wish to see throughout the city. So that would be a great tool as well. Up. She's got her camera turned off. Where is she? I don't know. And then the it's last um, feedback that we received was in regards to the Oakmont Boulevard and Harris Parkway. There is a request for a designated eastbound right turn lane onto Harris Parkway. So, as part of this project, there is a planned LED blank out sign and traffic signal timing changes that will help to alleviate these backups. So, Fanta, but before we go on to the schedule, um, those were some really good exhibits that we had about the proposed improvements. Could we go back to those? And could maybe you or maybe Chris sort of describe, you know, the improvements that we're proposing as part of the project, um, you know, what we're proposing compared to what's out there today. Chris, do you want to do that? If can you go back to those colored slides that were so good? Yeah, or or Fanta, can you? Yeah, could you um, just walk us through the improvements real fast? Sure. Uh, go ahead, Fanta, or do you want me to? Yeah, Chris, if you can go ahead and then once we're done, when we get to the blank out LED sign, if you can give like a background on how that's going to affect the operations at the intersection, that'd be great as well. Okay. Um, so this is the Brian Urban and Oakmont uh, intersection. The proposed improvements um, really are striping predominantly uh, and ramps and redoing the signals themselves. The, Major pavement improvement here would be the addition of a additional left turn lane on Oakmont Boulevard to southbound Bryant Urban. So there'll be two, a double left there. Uh, today, the median kind of impedes the, the, the turning movement along with there's no striping, so it's not clear um, which, which lanes. I know that I've seen uh, from the middle lane, people turn left or treat it as a double left. Uh, we'll, we'll have clearer pavement markings and along with tracking across the intersection of uh, puppy tracks. So hopefully it's clear that it's a double left. And then the uh, median noses are pulled back so that that left turn movement can be made, especially with some of the bigger uh, traffic there, bigger trucks. Um, also on the uh, west side of Oakmont, That'll be uh, kind of a more refuge island for pedestrians. We're going to bolt the uh, curb out and only have one lane that way. And then it opens back up to two lanes, but that way there's only one lane in the middle going that way. That, yeah. And then on Brian Irvin itself, there'll be a refuge island in the median on the northbound side and on the southbound side that that median gets pulled and median nose gets pulled back. And we utilize the uh, existing island, which doesn't have any pavement in it right now. It'll have paved sidewalk for pedestrian refuge. And so, and also, I believe the traffic on uh, the signal for the pedestrian pole on that side doesn't work. We're fixing that with the new signals. That was great, Chris. Before um, you move on, just sorry. Sorry. Before you move on to the other intersection, yeah, can you tell us about on the east side, the right turn lane and how it's striped at that driveway? Um, well, that's actually, that probably will, is not going to happen. Um, that right turn lane will still exist. So, um, there was an idea of creating kind of a refuge for turning movement out that way. There's just not that much traffic. Um, so 
in order to keep uh, maximized capacity, it'll have a right turn lane, a through lane, and two lefts. So it okay. will be it'll be as it is today. Perfect. Um, moving over to the uh, if you want to go to the next slide, the improvements at Harris and Oakmont. A little bit less in terms of the uh, pedestrian improvements. It'll mainly be striping of the crosswalks, just delineating those lines and doing new stop bars. The big addition will be a uh, left turn lane in that median. Um, so giving more room for stacking and turning onto Harris if you're traveling west along Oakmont. And um, additionally, the signals will be timed. So it kind of when uh, Harris backs up, the signal timing itself, the lights aren't coordinated. So we believe having a, a LED blank out sign for right turns and coordinating the signals so that you know your right turn onto Harris is going while your um, main through traffic, which is left uh, southbound to eastbound on Bryant Irvin. Um, doesn't back up. And so there it's kind of the intersections are clearing and um, coordinated with each other. That should help alleviate some of what's happening today at peak hour. I guess I kind of went through the uh, blank out sign and the traffic signal timing changes, but if anyone wants me to go into more detail, let me know. Thank you, Chris. Of course. So now we'll go over the project schedule. So we are currently in the design phase. There is no right of way acquisition anticipated. However, we do anticipate the need for pedestrian access easements at the Brain Irvin and Oakland intersection. We are in coordination with the franchise utilities to address conflicts on the of Brian Irvin and Oakmont. The estimated contract execution for construction is summer of 2024 with estimated construction start the fall of 2024 with the estimated construction duration of 11 months and construction cost of 1.2 million dollars. Project contact information, we have our design engineer, Christopher Shaw, his number is 817-412-7155. Myself, Fanta Caba, the city of Fort Worth. Project manager, my number is 817-682-3181. I think she's the one talking. Yes, and we are happy to repeat that. The project manager who is speaking is Fanta, F-A-N-T-A. Last name Kaba. K -A -B. Unless you want them, I uh, yeah, that'd be fine. Yes. They were talking. No, about actually, uh, I'm going to have some tomatoes. I think they're already fixed. So to input any service request, it doesn't have to be for this project necessarily. For any Im any improvement you would like to see in the city of Fort Worth, we have um, the My Fort Worth app for Apple. The My Fort Worth app for Google. You can text hello to 817-835-MY-FORT-WORTH or 6939. You can call the city call center at 817-392-1234. And there's also a chat box on the City of Fort Worth website. So that concludes tonight's presentations and it's now open for questions. Thank you all for joining us. Is there any detour route uh, while the construction begins? So we will we will have a pre-construction community meeting as well, and in that meeting we'll have um, details on what conditions to expect during construction and if there's any detours as well. Hey all, this is Laura. I am also with Fanta's team and with the city of Fort Worth. Um, 
I just want to be sure for those who aren't able to see the slide. So this is a design meeting, which means it is still in process. Nothing has been finalized. Correct Fanta and are there other opportunities for people to weigh in if we send them slides? Yes, so using my contact information that is on the Milner set you are received with this meeting information. If you have any feedback, please contact us and then we will work to accommodate if possible in our design and then we will have an update on the on the exhibits during the pre-construction meeting as well as what conditions to expect during construction. Any more questions? I'm going to also look in the chat for you to see if there were any there. Feel free to ask questions, folks. Fanta, I am not seeing any questions in the chat. Last call from anyone on the phone or on our WebEx. Sweater, can you go back to the schedule slide one more time? And just put it on the screen for folks to see. Okay, thank you. So for those so, called in, or sorry, go ahead. No, I was just gonna read through it one more time. Um, so um, the plan is to have contract execution for construction in summer of 2024. Um, we estimate that we're gonna start construction in fall of 2024. Our, Currently estimated construction duration is 11 months starting in fall of next year. Okay, thank you. So, am I correct in understanding that um, the next meeting we should expect to have is in the fall of 24 when we start construction? It will probably be sooner um, after a design has been completed. I do have one question in the chat. Pardon me. Are the only changes to northbound Harris Parkway timing on signals? Did that make sense? <laughs> How I read it. Are the only changes to the northbound Harris Parkway timing is that signals only? And please correct me whoever asked that if I did not ask your question appropriately. Chris, do you mind giving a, a breakdown again on the updates to the Oakland Boulevard and Harris Parkway intersection? Sure. Yeah, so um, that's correct. On there, it's going to mostly be um, signals. There is some uh, signal timing. There is some uh, pavement markings to make sure it's clear that the uh, that the lane assignments are. Um, Done, but the predominant improvement is the uh, left turn lane on Oakmont. So if you're traveling um, westbound on Oakmont, there's a double left on to Harris. But along Harris, going northbound, there is not um, any additional lanes planned. It's just signal timing. What is a LED blank out sign? So an LED blank out sign is some of those signs that um, you see that you can kind of variable. Um, you know, sometimes you see them uh, 
when lanes are closed of one direction and you open up lanes the other way. In this case, it would be um, for like a right turn only or right turn and straight. If that makes sense. It kind of, you can vary the lane assignment um, via the LED sign. Would all these intersections stay controlled green arrow or would any of them move to flashing yellow, which seems uh, like it could be a dangerous change if that was made given multiple turn lanes and busy intersections. Correct. So some of the, the green arrows and the um, dedicated lefts and not, no flashing are because of sight distance um, issues, you know, Brian Urban kind of on a hill. Um, and then same with Oakmont and it's on a hill with that that uh, has horizontal curvature. So those probably aren't changing. It's just going to be a timing issue between the two signals, trying to clear traffic uh, before while, you know, while accepting traffic the other way. This isn't directly related to the intersection changes specifically, but it is related to, to the intersection of Harris and Oakmont. If you're traveling westbound from Chisholm Trail Parkway down Oakmont towards Brian Urban Road. There's a pretty large live oak tree uh, very close to the street uh, that that its uh, foliage and overhang uh, tends to block visibility of the um, intersection lights uh, at Harris Parkway and uh, Perhaps as part of looking at this intersection, it would be good for the engineers to also look at the visibility of the lights as you approach them and how close you have to get before they emerge from beyond that, that tree and whether any uh, trimming or maintenance is needed on those trees. Thank you for that. We will we will look into that and see if that's something that we can accommodate as part of this project. Thank you. Also, I think on the My Fort Worth app, if you see stuff like that, you can report it. It's a great suggestion. Thank you. Helpful for maintenance to to pick up. Santa, I have another question in from the chat from Dean. There is currently a lot of right turns from westbound Oakmont to northbound Bryant Urban. The proposed striping seems to load a lot of traffic onto the street through Oakmount westbound lane, unless the right turn light allows a lot of traffic to move. Someone speak to that and kind of what's been discussed or what might be plans for that? And that full question is in the chat. Yeah, sorry. Um, so agree this, um, we're not striping off as this shows. Um, I think this is our, this is a more earlier vintage that that concern was um, brought up. So it will be remain three lanes there. That right turn lane won't be striped off there because there is a significant amount of right turn traffic. So it'll really be four lanes when you get to the intersection, right turn through and two lefts. Okay, hey, don't be shy. This is Laura again. I don't see any questions in the chat, but now is a great time to ask questions because you have a good team here with your project manager and the engineers. I 
Anta, can we go um, back to the contact slide again? Sorry, I keep making you jump back and forth. I apologize. Can we, um, I think you already did this. I know you're really good at this. Can we read, since we have a bunch of call in users who had some technical difficulty getting on, can we just give your phone number and email out one more time so that they can um, request a copy of this um, presentation? Sure, thank you. So my name is Fanta Kaba. My number is 817-682-3181. Email is Fanta, F-A-N-T-A dot Kaba, K-A-B-A, at Fort Worth, Texas dot gov. Thank you, Fanta. So please reach out with any requests for this presentation and this um, meeting recording, and we'll send that to you as soon as available. One more update. This is Laura. I'm full of words tonight. Also, if you go to our fortworthtexas.gov website and in the search, you just type in Bryant Irvin or Oakmont, our project page should show up for you. And I'm going to also post the YouTube recording and the slides there as well. Just give me a couple of days here, but hopefully by Friday. Perfect. Well, Fanta, I don't see any other questions in the chat. Um, I, I guess we can go ahead and conclude the meeting if there aren't any other questions. Is is that right? Do you think that's okay, Fanta? Yes, um, we'll do a last call. Any other questions, comments, or concerns? Thank you for providing this so early on. Sure, thank you. So with that, we will conclude tonight's meeting. Thank you all for joining again. And then as soon as the recording is available, we will send that out to anyone who requests it. As well, Laura will be uploading it to the project webpage on the City of Fort Worth website. Thank you, Fanta and team. Sure. Thank you all and have a nice evening.